Hello there. Seems like my summer break gets longer and longer every year. I normally take a week, two weeks, possibly even three weeks off from making videos towards the end of the summer. Kids are on holiday, we go on our summer holidays, and it takes me a while to get back into the swing of things, but this one has been even longer. It's got to be a good month since I last put out a video. I did upload loads of them all in one day just to give you a little bit of a fix but in hindsight I should have staggered them so that they're uploaded during my off period but I'm back and the very very first thing to do is to get into the detecting gear giveaway I made the mistake of ending that giveaway competition on the day that I went on holiday with the family so <laughs> so I couldn't pick a winner I was away for two weeks, couldn't make the video, and I've just had a few, I've had a hell of a lot of work on. I don't want to start making excuses, but just before I went on holiday, the stuff that I sell on eBay, almost, the sales almost doubled. All I can imagine is that there was a few of my aquatic videos went onto forums or Facebook pages or discussion sites or Twitter or something got shared about because the sales have been absolutely crazy. That's why I'm just shooting this video very, very quickly to explain where I've been and to pick the winners. Now I'm going to pick some of the winners from the comments that are actually on the videos and I'm also going to pick some that are in spam. I've had a hell of a problem with comments because there was over 4,000 of them got marked as spam. I made a big mistake of allowing people to enter as many times as they wanted. And some people were literally putting in hundreds of entries which triggered the spam filter on YouTube and because I use the same email address for YouTube as I do for my business it was spamming hundreds and hundreds of comments on my private email oh, sorry not private on my personal email as well so that's taken a while to sort out the spam filters working perfectly now on my personal email and I think I've just about got a handle on the YouTube comments the newer ones seem to be coming through fine. I've marked a lot of the videos as approved comments only, so they kind of get held on YouTube, they don't get forwarded to my personal email address. So every so often I just go in, check all the comments and answer them all together. That seems to work pretty well and I think that's going to be the way forward. Because if I see a comment come through on my email address, I kind of answer it straight away. And because only about 10% of my income is derived from YouTube, but I spend, or I was spending, 60 to 70% of my work and day on YouTube. Something kind of had to give. So that's why I've made the changes. You'll still be able to comment, you'll still be able to vote and so on, up and down. You know, if you've liked it, click the like. If you haven't liked it, click the dislike. So hopefully now the commenting system will be fixed. Now let's pick some winners. I think there was 16, 17, possibly even 18 different prizes you could win. And I hope that they go to people who really love the hobby of metal detecting, because it is a great hobby. <laughs> Here's the problem I've got. That's on one video. Likely spam. 3,551 comments. I'm going to have to unspam those now before I pick the winners. Oh, because there's so many comments, I'm just going to flick through them. Pick a spot that looks random like this with loads of different people and see if I can find, say, number three or something. There isn't one there, but maybe it's number four. That would be American coin hunting. And I'm just going to keep doing that to pick the winners. There's just so many of them. Damn. I should have let people only enter once. I've learned my lesson now. <laughs> Prize number one was the T-shirt from Treasure Mountain Detectors, the Roman map from Richbis Detecting, and a Pro Pointer cover from Papa Doody. Thanks very much to all the people who give me those things. Uh, actually, I won the map in Rich's competition. So, thanks very much, Rich. I'm recycling it. I've had a good look at it, and it's a great map. All right, prize number one, Anthony Burns, or Anthony Burns. Anybody knows Anthony, get in touch, tell him he's won. Or if you're watching yourself, Anthony, send a message to my email address, which will be in the video description for this video. Let me know which prize you've won, say prize number one, and I'll get it sent out to you. Looking for prize number two, which was the little flask sort of thing. Hey, up, here we've got one, American coin hunting. 
Well done, Dave. You've won that. That was the little thermal flask thing and the silver coin, the National Trust silver coin. Send me your details and I'll get that out to you. Okay, prize number three, which was the Deus stuff, which, uh, what, did it, what was that? A couple of control box covers and also a book on hammered coins. So that was won by Crafty Carter. Well done. Thank you very much for entering. Send me your address and I'll get that out to you. Looking for number four now. There's one there. Goopy Joe. <laughs> That's a class name. Goopy Joe, you have won uh, the Fines Pouch, gloves and also some coins as well. Send me your address. I'll get that out to you. Thanks for entering. I have to say, this man called Dave <laughs> has been almost solely responsible for crashing my messaging system. <laughs> He did apologise though, so I accept his apology. Well hey, prize number five. The Pro Pointer cover has been won by Brown Outdoors. Thanks very much for entering, send me your address and I'll post that out to you. Okay, prize number six, which was another um, Pro Pointer cover. That's been won by Kevin181057. Thanks for entering, send me your address, I'll get that out to you. Yay, prize number seven, Foil Magnet. You've won a Pro Pointer cover as well. Send me your address, I'll get that out to you. Scan backwards and forwards through these comments and I think the only fella who's picked number eight is Kevin and then that collection of numbers. So that's the second prize he's won. And number eight was the X Pointer cover. Thanks very much for entering. Uh, just add prize number eight to your email that you're gonna send us and I'll get both those prizes out to you. Oh, get in there. Number nine has been won by Craft Bunny, and the number nine prize was a bullseye pointer cover. So send me your address, I'll get that out to you. Thanks very much. Hey, there's a number ten. Number ten was uh, another flask, but this was a, a much bigger one. This was the Fat Boy flask, and that has been won by CSM Paul. Thanks for entering, send me your address, I'll get that off to you as soon as I can. Okay, prize number 11 is Doug Money Detecting. And you are in the US, so I don't know how much that's going to cost me to send out, but congratulations, thank you very much for entering. And send me your address, I'll post out the Mind Lab stuff to you. It was a book, a stress ball, oh, a couple of pens, and some other bits and bobs from Mind Lab. It just goes on forever. I'm not going to find a clear space, so... Soldier Demps, you have won prize number 12. Thank you very much for your persistence. <laughs> You're like Dave from uh, America. He's so many comments. <laughs> You've won number 12, which was a half ounce um, silver coin with a hammerhead shark on. So send me your details, I'll get that off to you. Well, hey, there's a 13. So prize number 13 was another half ounce coin. That was again with the hammerhead shark design on. And that's going to the Dragon Booster 8. Well done. And there's also a question on his entry as well. Do you know what is the best of the cheaper end in pinpointers? Uh, I've never owned them, but I would presume possibly the X pointer. Um, send me your details. I shall get that coin off to you. Okay, prize 14 was a one ounce coin and that was the Canadian maple design and that goes to Mike Detector. Well done, thanks for entering, send me your details, I'll get it off to you. Okay, the very last of the prizes is the Queen Anne Love Token. That was the sixpence which was bent into a love token dating from early 1700s. Oh, I wish I'd picked somebody with an easier name to pronounce. Forgive me if I butcher this, but Gia Marcelo Delange, you have won um, that coin. You've won the Queen Anne Love Token. Well done. Send me your details. I'll get that off to you. Well, thanks very much to everybody that entered this particular giveaway video. I've announced all the winners now, so if you are a winner, please send me your address details to my email address which is in the video description. Now I've disabled comments on this video because my comment system is still messed up from the domino effect from these giveaway videos and all the spam ones that I had. 
I'm hoping now that when I delete the original giveaway videos, it'll take all those spam comments with it and everything will be back to normal. So you can expect to see lots of videos from me coming up very soon. I've got loads uploaded, they just need to be made public. But I'm not making them public till I get the commenting system sorted out. Now I did do another video, which was a bonus one, where uh, well, the prizes were one one ounce coin, which was a uh, Canadian maple, and also a Victorian Jubilee head half crown. So I'm now going to pick the winner for that one. And there was about 10 million entries to that one as well. Okay, here we go. Got some electronic scales here, accurate to within about 5 grams, I think. Here's the cannonball I found on the mansion site quite a while ago. And as outlined in the giveaway video, this is to win two silver coins. If you've guessed the correct weight of this, you're in with a good chance. Six hundred grams exactly. Right, this one's a little bit easier to pick. I just put the search bar in the top there. Six hundred has come out with Adrian. Sorry, Adrian Wright Meyer. Well done. You've won those two silver coins. Send me your details. I'll get them off to you. If you are a winner, you're very lucky because there was a hell of a lot of people entered these competitions. So please send me your address details, no matter where you are in the world to pondguru at btinternet.com That's also in the video description. Thanks very much for entering, thanks very much for watching and appreciating the videos and I shall see you in upcoming detecting videos. The upcoming ones will probably be compilations of two to three different sites. I'm trying to move away from the single hunt videos unless it's an exceptional hunt or I find something really really interesting because I just want to add a little bit more variety in there and keep keep them interesting. Quite a lot of them lately they've just been short hunts and to me they've been quite boring. I've filmed quite a lot of them and I haven't even bothered editing them. I've looked and I've thought, you know, that's like 50, 60 of my other detecting videos. I want to try and set them apart. So I'm going to try and make them 25 to 30 minutes long and incorporate different sites just to keep the interest going, just so viewers can see different sites, different detectors in the same video and maybe throw a bit of advice in there as well, which I always like to do. So I'm due to go on a potentially good coin shooting site in the next week or so and hopefully there will be a video come from that. Thanks very much for watching, catch you next time.